churches and Christians of this culture love worship. I want to tell you one story of many I've experienced in worship here. Ivory Coast, one of the countries bordering Liberia, was in civil war. I was at the border watching them cross the river. Some came with bullet wounds, others the scars of rape. Barely escaping with their lives, they were hungry and decimated. The UN channeled them into refugee camps of thousands. Most arrived with only the clothes they were wearing. Family and friends had been killed or lost. Their villages burned with everything they owned. It did not take long for them to construct thatched roof, dirt floor church buildings. I was there and experienced the most joyful, enthusiastic worship I've ever experienced in my life. As I joined them in worship, I didn't know the language, but the knowledge of the language was not required because the presence of the Holy Spirit saturated the building and all inside. Before worship started, they took a bucket of water with a cup to dash water on the worship floor to keep the dust down. But it only helped a little. Before long, a fog of dust filled the church. As I left the church, the muscles in my cheeks ached from so much smiling and laughter. My greatest worship experiences have always been among the poorest of the poor, among those who have lost everything except their memories of death and destruction. Worship and dance extends into their homes and is taught from the earliest of ages. 